Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to import videos to your PlayStation 5 using a USB stick on Share Factory. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So it can be easy to import videos to the PlayStation 5 in Share Factory with this USB stick. However, there could be a lot of restrictions on the type of video that you can use. Let's go ahead and go over those right now. So the supported formats include MP4, M4V, MOV, WebM. Then the supported resolutions include 64 times 64 to 1920 by 1080p for MP4, M4V, MOV. Then WebM, you can use the 4K resolution. Then they must be encoded for the H264 or VP9. Then the duration must be one second to 60 minutes long. And then there's additional requirements down below. Then you have to have a share factory folder on your USB stick. And then inside that share factory folder, you have to have videos as a folder. Knowing this information, let's go over my computer right now and plug in the USB drive. And when you plug it in, it should pop up automatically. If it doesn't, go down to File Explorer right here and click on this and open this up. And then the drive should open up here on the left side. So mine is the USB drive D. Yours may be differently. Just go ahead and verify. So I already have all the folders in here that I need. But you also have to format the file system to EXFAT if it's not already. So go to your drive, right click on it, go to format. And then make sure the file system is EXFAT. If it's not already, go to EXFAT and go to start and format the drive. This will erase all the data. And once the data is erased, go ahead and back out of here. And then go inside the folder. Right click in here and go to new and go to folder. Then rename this folder Share Factory. So just like this, Share Factory. Then inside the Share Factory folder, you want to go ahead and make a videos folder. So right click in here, go to new, go to folder, and then go to rename on the folder and just type in videos, just like that. Then if you're going to include images, music, go ahead and do the additional folders as well. Now for your videos folder, drop and drag any of your videos that you want to go ahead and use for share factory inside this folder. So I already had two videos in here and I can see the type is MP4. All right, so now that I have my videos already in here, let's go over to my PlayStation 5 right now. All right, so if you don't already have Share Factory on your PlayStation 5, go up to the search bar right here and just type in Share, and it should pop open. So I can already see it. So Share Factory right here. This is pretty small for a download size. It's only like 2.3 gigabytes. So let's go to Play now, and then open this up. Then to import the videos, Go on over to the toolbox and go to import videos right here and select X on here. Then go to import from USB, select this, and it's going to assess your video clips. Now I have one that is unsupported because the resolution is too high. So I can't open that file. I would have to go ahead and put that in a video editor on my PC and then make it down to like a 1080p resolution. So I do have one that does work on here. This is um, me playing Call of Duty Warzone. So let's go ahead and press X on this video clip. And then I see a check mark. And then press square to import it to your PlayStation. And this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and step away. All right. So the video is now on my PlayStation 5. If I go ahead and back out of here and then go over to the video editor and select this and start up a new project or go to one of my last projects, I'm going to go ahead and just select that and then add this video. So I'm going to press X and then go to add clip right here or I can go to add track two if that's uh, something I want to go ahead and do. So add clip right here. Now the video should show up on top. So here it is. Import it all bunker locations, the one I just transferred over. I'm going to select it and then go to square. Now the video is on my timeline. I can go ahead and press R2 and play this. So this is the entire video that I transferred over. So this was me going through all the different bunkers in Warzone back when Verdansk was around. And you can just go ahead and edit this like normal, split it, and do everything else. So that is how you add your video clips to PlayStation 5. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.